Bowman here from BW1. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the hottest device from Google today, the Chromecast. Okay, so for the first part of this video, we're gonna go ahead and unbox the Chromecast here. It's available right now from the Google Play Store or Amazon or some other retailers for about 35 bucks. So it's pretty cheap for a wireless uh, TV dongle. Let's go ahead and, uh, it says peel here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and slice it a little slice there. We can take a tour around the box just a little bit. You can see some of the things that support just Chrome, YouTube, Netflix, and the Google Play Store works on Android, iOS, and uh, iOS, OS 10, and Windows. So you do get a plethora of options there. Slide it out here. I'm gonna go ahead, open it up here, real simple. Getting started, plug it in, switch input, set it up. Real simple there. And looking at the device here itself, it's a simple like little key with a HDMI on one side. And then you're gonna need the uh, micro USB port to obviously to power it up here as well. And I'm also wondering if um, updates come through by plugging in USB that way. There might be one way to update if it doesn't update over, uh, over the air. It does include the USB cable here. See there. And then we have the wall adapter. And then they do give you an HDMI um, port here. It looks like it gives you a it's like HDMI to HDMI, just in case if you if it can't fit for some reason, doesn't fit in the slot properly on your TV, you can use this to sort of connect it in there if you want to. All yeah, right, so that's pretty much what comes inside. It's a Chromecast uh, box. You have product information and stuff like that to read, but um, that's pretty much it right there for what it comes with. So now the next thing we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and set it up and get things started. Okay, now we're here in the set up process for the Chromecast. Well, the first thing we need to do, as it says here, my setup name is Chromecast 3102, so we actually need to take a phone or device and connect to it. We're gonna use my Samsung Galaxy S4 here. We're actually gonna connect to Chromecast here itself. Hit connect. It's gonna obtain IP address and such. And we're gonna hit connect it. Now from here, we're gonna go back. We're actually gonna open up the Chromecast app that you're gonna to need to download from the Play Store. It's a free app. So you can see the app right here. From there, it's gonna start searching, finding Chromecast. And you can see it found it. And it's gonna be ready to set up here. So we're just gonna tap on that. Go ahead and hit setup. It's awaiting instructions. If you can see, you can ask if you see the code, and we do. You can see the code's right there. Go ahead and hit that. And we want to name it. We'll just name, we'll call it a Scorpio Chromecast. I'll just rename it that. Scorpio Cast, we'll call it that. I leave it like that. All the stuff on my network's usually named Scorpio, my zodiac sign. So it's just kind of an easy um, naming convention. Going to, going to hit set and then we can choose a network to connect this to so we want to connect this to a different wi-fi so i'm actually going to connect this to my um scorpio network wi-fi i'll do that here in just a second all right there we go since i'm very bad at remembering my wi-fi password considering that i connect everything mostly through wps i do have it connected here you can see it's called scorpio cast uh, the network right there the time it's ready to cast and it gives you the finished setup uh, notification right here and we're done. And now um, we should be able to uh, run some apps on here. Right now, apps are supported are YouTube, Netflix, Google Play, um, movies and TV. So you can see there's more apps available, you know, apps that you can install. I have Google Play installed as well too. So let's go ahead and go back here. Let's do, uh, first things first, let's go ahead and do Google Play, movies and TV. Let's um, open up that app here. Let's see if we can open that up here. And what we're going to go ahead and do is I do have a movie in here, Transformers. And we're going to go ahead and let that play. And as you can see right here in the corner, it has this little quarter to cast it off. So that's what we're going to do. It's going to let us choose which one we want to send it off to. It says ready. Connected. Preparing playback. As you go right there and you can see it's playback right here now playback stops on the phone here but now it's on the Chromecast here you can see it's up here it's 
playing right there on the TV so you can go to do anything else you want to do. You can see there right at the top that it's still there available. You can pause, pause the movie, hit play, play it some more. All right. We can also change this around. We can skip ahead if we want to. As you can see there. Cool through there. That's pretty cool. All right. Let's do let's do another test here. Let's actually. Uh, Go back into the Chromecast app here itself. Sign it right there. Let's see if we can find Chromecast. And yeah, we'll back out. We'll actually open up uh, Netflix because it does come. I know at the beginning it came with three months of Netflix for free. I'm not exactly sure if they still did that. I know I heard that they were stopping that basically. But uh, as we log into Netflix here, we can choose a Netflix movie to play. And we'll use. Um, I don't know. We'll click on the Hunger Games. I know a lot of people like that. Still haven't seen that movie actually. And we're gonna go ahead and play on Scorpio Cash. You can see there at the bottom. Netflix queues it up. Alright, let's go ahead and hit play on here. Should start it up. Play shows with team. There we go. You can see it loads up, pops up right here. You can see it on here as well too. Wait for it to load up, we're at about 25%, 100%. Yeah, there we go. The quality is a little grainy there, but I'm, I'm expecting it to kind of pick up a little bit because this does support 1080p. Here. There's the audio, and you can see that the video quality picked back up again. Let's do a little bit of fast forwarding there. You can see scene by scene. Hop into where you want to hop into, or hop all the way back. All right, so that's the Netflix experience, which a lot of people are going to use. Let's actually jump into something else, which is play music, because you can stream music through here. If you want to, let's see, go back. Let's see, how's it? I don't like listening to that. Let's go back to here. Let's play some, uh, I know who we'll play. Play some Cassier, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead. Got that playing right now on here. Hit the cast button. Should stop the movie here. I should start playing the music on here in just a second. Play. See here, it gives you sort of the cover album art here, tracking and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Let's see what else we have here. I actually play one of my more favorite songs that I've been listening to a lot lately. Up just a little bit. <laughs> oh, I get lucky here. All right, so you guys kind of get the idea with Chromecast here itself. So we'll go ahead and pause it. So you kind of get the idea here right now. We've done a setup, real simple and easy to set up and use using an Android device. In our review, which we're going to post up a little bit later, we're going to use some different devices like tablets and such, and maybe an Apple device as well too, and sort of our Windows desktop and a few other things to really see what we can throw at the Chromecast and how good the quality is and how well, this, how well the device works overall in general. But for 35 bucks and streaming, for me to, for streaming right from your device, isn't too bad. It's really quick and really easy to set up. So, so far it's a thumbs up, but we'll see what we think about it in our final review here. So this is Bowman here from BW1. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our YouTube page here. Connect with us on all the other social networks from Facebook, uh, Twitter, Google+. The link is all in, all in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching.